collaboration hosted by Wani's House, and this is week three. And in this collaboration is the six weeks room challenge. So I, to, in today's video, we are supposed to show you how far we have gotten in the process. As you see, I am now cutting the sheet rock to put it in place. I end up using a different piece that did not have the hole. I did not want to join that much. And now I am putting it in its place. And I'm realizing I have to take the toilet paper rack off. Thought it worked with a screw, but it doesn't. It doesn't work with a, a, a screwdriver either. It works only with the Allen wrench. And the Allen wrench I have, I found it at the Dollar Tree. Nothing expensive. It just matched my tools. So I am trying to take this off and how is this going to come off that's what i was saying to myself but i will eventually realize it's an allen wrench to take this out meanwhile yes i'm dancing i know it looked like i got jigger in my pants but <laughs> that's how i work i work with music i work with music and I'm finally seeing that, yes, it is the Allen wrench, and I'm going to go ahead and remove that piece all together. Because remember, guys, I said I want to put it closer to the toilet. So now it's completely off. So now I'm going to put in the sheetrock and eventually put the compound on it. And tape it and voila it is in so what I'm doing is adjusting the sheetrock that it fit all the way in space close to the tub so now I am drilling it in place. If only we work this fast, right? If only we could have moved this fast and get stuff done. But I am putting this sheetrock in place and I have to lift it up a bit from the corner. And you, as you know, trying to get something from the corner could be very difficult. So I'm pushing it up as much as I could and now I'm screwing it, screwing it down. And I notice I have a little gap right there, but once I finish with this whole thing, you're not going to see the gap. I'm going to, in a previous, in a following video, I will take you up close so you could see the seamless line. Well, everything is done, and now I'm doing a dance. Yes, yes, get it in. <laughs> so now I'm going to put in the compound, and what I'm trying to do is get like a really smooth finish. I know the pan is shut tight to keep the to keep whatever in it from getting hard, but it's so hard to get in these cans. So now I am filling in the hole. And as you see, it's disappearing. So the... Now I am showing you the closet area that I built. Upon finish and looking at it and trying to find a door for it, I told you guys I was going to put an accordion door there. 
But accordion door, I want this to be done for the cheap cheap. And an accordion door will run me like maybe about fifteen dollars. I don't feel like paying for it. So what I'm gonna do, resize the door. I'm gonna make the doorway smaller, but still have the enclosed space that I could put stuff. So this is the door that I found. And I am gonna finish framing this out. So now I am getting the sheetrock together to fill in the other side. And yeah, I have a bad habit. I did not use a measuring tape. I just took the wood, went up there, put my hand up to it, and now I'm cutting. And then what I will do is cut is cut the sheetrock and then use the piece of the sheetrock to cut. Yeah, I'm using a saw to cut it. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to use a sheetrock knife. But I don't have one and I'm not really a worker. I'm a fake worker. So I'm doing it the easiest way for me. So I'm using the piece that I already cut and measured for this. And yes, I'm using the saw backwards. I do stuff like that. And it works out. So that's it right here. So now I'm going to go up there and fit it in. Perfect fit. Yeah, she did that. She did that. So guys, like I said, if you like what I'm doing here, please like, subscribe, and share. I would like to say thank you to Wani from Wani's house. I don't even think I tell her thanks before. I'm so ungrateful. <laughs> Wani, thank you for hosting this collaboration that I could be a part of it. So yeah, I'm working. So now I'm going to put this piece in and I have to cut another piece. I think it's like three feet, one inch to fit the top, to fill that area in. And I'm going to eventually put the sheet, put the compound and then tape it and sand it and frame it out. And guys, this will be a finished job. Please like, subscribe and share. Bye for now.